Now we have been experiencing heavy showers, uh, landslides and floods across several parts of the country within the past 48 hours. However, the low pressure area in the Bay of Bengal, which is causing this extreme weather situation in Sri Lanka, is expected to intensify into a depression within the next 32 hours and will gradually shift towards uh, the Tamil Nadu coast in India across Chennai within the next 32 hours. Now uh, the DMC stats indicate that the current death toll stands at 25 with over 62,000 people being affected by the current prevailing weather condition in the country. Uh, 18 houses have been completely destroyed and uh, over 900 houses have also been severely damaged by this inclement were the situation. Uh, however, the authorities have taken the necessary steps to evacuate these people that have been affected and move them into safer locations and relief camps as well. Let's see what the situation was like today across the country. At 10 p.m. last night, an earth embankment collapsed onto a house located in Korosa, Maduragoda, Kurunagala. A couple lost their lives in the incident. A 60-year-old male and a 56-year-old female were the victims. There was an excavation carried out here. They built this house from the Samurdhi concession they received. They were living a very happy life. We heard a noise at about 9.46 in the night. When we came outside, the mound of earth had already collapsed onto the house. No one has come to this area and had looked into the potential danger these people might face. That is the issue. <laughs> People living in that area are in danger too. They live in a low-lying area of a mountain. There is a six-inch split on that rock as well. If that rock collapses, it can come all the way here. Several houses have incurred damages due to the collapsed amount of earth as well. The district secretariat have instructed us to get in touch with the divisional secretariat and take action to mitigate the situation. We will take steps to pay a compensation of 250,000 rupees for families who have lost their loved ones. We will take swift steps to provide 25,000 to carry out the final rights of the deceased as well. Also, we will take immediate steps to consult the National Building Research Organization and carry out tests to determine the threat these people face and evacuate them from their locations immediately. The National Building Research Organization had earlier issued landslide warnings to the Ridigama Division. However, no such notice was issued to this particular area. Two lives were lost after a mound of earth collapsed onto a house in Pustellava Galigamua. After arduous efforts carried out by the Sri Lanka Army, bodies of the 72-year-old father and the 33-year-old son were found under the debris. <laughs> by 4.15 or 4.20, we heard a loud noise. My brother was nearby and he came running. He told that the mound of earth had collapsed on them. <laughs> My mother told me to go and take a look. When I went there, I heard a cry. It was the aunt. She told me to rescue them. I and the next door neighbor went and somehow rescued them. The area where fruit stalls are located in Pahalakaduga Nava is currently at risk of facing a landslide. 
Professor of Geology Atula Senaratna, who visited the area, said the road is at risk of facing a landslide as well. The area, which spans 250 meters, is at risk of landslides. Therefore, these people must be evacuated. National Building Research Organization must carry out an investigation here immediately. It's more favorable if this road can be closed temporarily. However, stall owners of Pahala Kadugannava point out that authorities have not looked into the matter. This road will fall prey to landslides soon. Even though authorities have been informed, they have not paid attention to the matter. The water stream that flows from the top comes down, collecting mud. We are engaging in business, risking our lives. What will happen if children or others and vehicles slide down because of this landslide? Reports have emerged of two people being swept away following a water current in Wilpola, Paranagama, Kuliapitiya. A father and a son who were on the way home from tuition were the unfortunate victims of this sudden current. The family of the deceased had notified the Kuliapitiya police since they had not returned home. The police who launched a search operation swiftly managed to recover the corpse of the father from the Paranagama Oya this morning, the body of the 11-year-old son was also discovered this afternoon following continuous search operations by police. Another individual who was collecting coconuts, which were floating on flood water, was also swept due to a sudden current. The deceased was a resident of Nathandia, who was residing in Kuliapitiya and engaged in daily labour. An individual who attempted to fish in close proximity to the sluice gate of the Randenigala Reservoir has been swept away by the severe current. The missing individual has been identified as 24-year-old K.G. Nalin Hemanta, a resident of Alukumbukoyaya in Rantambe. The wallet of the missing individual was also found this afternoon. A special team of the Sri Lanka Army has been assigned to assist in relief measures to evacuate those who have been impacted in Bulat Singhala as a result of the Kukule River overflowing. The Chilau base hospital was also at risk of being inundated, forcing hospital staff to transfer patients at several wards to other locations. The Chilau Mahavava main road has been inundated owing to torrential rainfall experienced over the past three days. Several areas in the Putlam district including Tambala, Tambala, Maravala and Savarana are also underwater. Nearly 200 families in Virabamba, Chilau are in distress due to a deluge experienced in the area. According to our correspondent, those in distress have been relocated to a temporary shelter in Eluankulama. Intermittent rains continue to fall in the western slopes of the central hills. The Castlery and Mausakala reservoirs have reached spill level. While the Vimala Surendra reservoir continues to overflow, the water level of the Kalin River has risen slightly since three sluice gates of the Canyon and Lakshapana reservoirs continue to remain open. Traffic was restricted to one lane due to landslides at several places along the Hatton Nuarelia and Hatton Bogavan Talava main road. A thick mist has developed in several areas along the Hatton Nuarelia and Hatton Colombo main road, heightening the risk for vehicles utilizing the routes. Both emergency sluice gates of the Angamua reservoir were opened by a further five feet after the water levels of the reservoir rose further. Eight of the ten sluice gates of the Rajangane Reservoir, which were opened yesterday, were closed today as rainfall reduced. Two sluice gates of the reservoir remain open by a feet each, with 1,200 square feet of water being released to the Kala Oya each second. Multiple houses situated close to the banks of the Maha Oya were inundated as it overflowed owing to heavy rainfall. Two houses in Ihala Aragoda in Polgahavela have been destroyed following a landslide. Footage of some people enjoying themselves amidst the prevailing disaster situation is circulating on social media.